in and sending a message from this wonderful island of your palace uh, to the whole world, having guests from all around the world, from Italy, from Japan, from England, from Israel, from Latvia, from Germany, from uh, United States, from Canada. This is the message that this competition has been sending and will be sending for the next 25 and more years. And as Maestro was joking, and I'm going to play you crazy.最初のオープニングセレモニーの時に皆さんが尊敬してらっしゃるピアニストのマナさんとあのお会いすることができて僕初めて会ったにもかかわらずものすごくこの温かいんですよ。もう喜ぶ喜ぶぞ来てくれまし
あのもちろんバスの平均率はみんなうまく引くわけだし、うん、ショパンのエチュールはみんなが早く引くわけだし、うん、そこでってスカラッティも入ってますよね今回はスカラッティが入ってたけど、うん、そのスカラッティはものすごくいいんですけど一般の一般のコンクールの中で、うん、ほとんど大体そうじゃないですかそれでもってもう次に行ってしまうとなってくると、うん、どうしても早く引いて、うん、ドラマチックに引いてそれでバッハはまあいろんな見方があるからわからないけど結局エチュードの速さなり音の大きさで決まっちゃうようなところがあってすごくサプス系ですね音楽的なこと音楽コンクールと言ってながらも音楽的なコンクールということは二の次になってしまうある程度オリンピック的なものになるするとそのコンクールを聞いた学生の人たちは結局ああいうふうに引きさえすれば1時から2次予選に残るんじゃないかという悪い印象を与えてしまう。それはもちろんその審査している我々の方にもあ,のあるかもしれないんですけれどもでも今回のようにその作品をじっくり聴けてしかもあのスカンラッティという作曲家が入っているということでもってバッハだけではなくてまた違うバロックが入るそれでまたスカンラッティの,そのベストスカンラッティを弾いた人にその賞をあげるということも入っていますから。うん、それも僕はすごくいいことだなと思って教育的な観点からすごく見てたんですけれどもいろんなものをずっと聞いてるうちに国々っていうことではなくて一人一人の個人的なその音楽的な内容っていうか演奏の内容っていうものがやはりそのいろいろ異なることがあるんですよね個人差があるそれは国際コンクールの面白いところだと思うんですけれども。若い人たちが弾く音楽バロックに対してもロマンに対してもどういったものがそのどういうアプローチをするのかっていうことをなるべく吸収しようとしてたんです。と<笑>いうのは演奏家としてねやはりベートーベンなりの楽譜を、ね、に接した時に謎が多いわけ。シューマンにしてもただ難しいっていうだけじゃなくてそのなんでこういうフレーズにしたのかなんでスモールサンドがここにあってここにないのかなんでクレッシェンドがここにあってそのクレッシェンドが長かったり短かったりそれからフォルゼがあってピアノがあってそういうところもそ謎が多いんですよシューマンも多いですよねもちろんもう本当にシューマンなんか謎があるけどでその謎をみんなどういうふうにしてその解決していってるんだろうかなもちろんその解決はしてないと思うんですよ答えはまだ出てないと思うんだけどその答えを出そうとしてるんだろうかっていうところの,その過程がねすごく面白いでそれをなるべく自分がそのすごく分かったような気持ちになってるところと同じように弾いてるとまたそれはまた同感するんだけれどもそうじゃないやり方が出てくるとあなるほどそういった観点もあるんだなと思う。そういういこともあるしそれ僕、今回これが終わってから翌日から教えるんですけれどもここで得たことをなるべく覚えていてそれをなるべく弟子に伝えたいなと思うそういうことがずっと思っていてそれでもちろん1次予選からずっと2次予選3次予選4次っていうかファイナルまで。あの一乗線で光った人たちっていうのはやっぱり残ります、うん、どうしてもやっぱり残る、うん、それでファイナルまで残るからその一乗線二乗線三乗線でどういうふうに引いたかってことが、うん、もちろん頭の中に残ってるんですよもちろん最後の,あの審査ももちろんその含めてそうそうそうそうそうです,です,、うん、ですからよく一乗線で点数を集めて二乗線で点数を集めて、うん、それでもってあの進めてそれでその都度その都度やっていくってこともあるんですけれども、うんでもやっぱりファイナルになってくるとやっぱり今までの全体のねこれだけ長いたくさんの曲を弾いてるわけですからねそれの審査ということでうんだから光った人たちっていうのはやはりファイナルに残ってる一つには教育ってこともあると思う音楽教育それ音楽教育ということもそうなんですけどどちらがいいどちらが悪いってことはなるべくは言えないところまで来てると思うんですよね。でこれだけ例えば韓国人がいっぱい中国人がいっぱいどこどこでコンクールに勝つ世の中になってきたときにあの人たちの教育がいいかというと別にそうでは思わないと思う。だから日本の教育が良くて韓国の教育が良くて日本の教育が悪いとまで言ってしまうと。あの僕たち日本に帰って教えなきゃいけない先生たちは何をしたらいいのかってことになるわけでしょ、うん
、僕はね大きな差っていうのはまだこれはね答えは出てないんですけれども、うん、今僕が考えている段階では国民性の違いだと思います。こ、うんうん、これはもうどうしようももうしないことで,すでも20年くらい前とか比べて違いませんか今と若者は伸び伸びとしてきてるんですよね音楽的に、うんうん、もっと昔のもっとカチンカチンとした音楽よりはもっと面白くはなってきてる、うんうん、あとその審査の傾向みたいなものもやはり間違いが多かったら減点とかそういうところはないですかうんそれはやはり YouTube っていうこととそれからインターネットでもすぐ配信されるでしょ、うんそうするとやはりそれを見てそれなりに子どもたちが勉強してそれで影響されてそういう弾き方になってきますよねだから音楽的には面白くはなってきてると思うだけども本当にディープダウンっていうかもう根底にあるものっていうのはやはり日本人が日本人を教えて日本人が日本人らしく弾くというそのチョイスですよねだから日本人っていうもとが例えば外国に留学来ますよね留学しに来てね、それで外国人と同じように弾いて、うん、同じような例えばショパンを弾くようにポ、うん、ーランド人もショパンを弾くように、うん、それからフランス人フランスに行って留学して、うん、日本人がフランスのものまねって言っちゃうわけですけれども、うん、いかにもそこで弾いてフランスの音楽の真髄を学んだと言って、うん、もう結局それは日本人が弾くフランス音楽にしかならないんですよ、うん、そこに良さが出てくる。日本人を忘れちゃったらば、うん、それはもう嘘になるわけだから、うん、その辺は非常に微妙な,、うん微妙ね、微妙なところですよね、うん、だから個人的にいかにも自分がフランス人になったつもりでもって弾いたとしても、うん、そ,のその忘れたものっていうのは必ず本末に出てくる、うん、どうしてもモノマネっぽいなモノマネあやはりそのさっきおっしゃってた YouTube ですけれども最近多いのはコピーみたいなその、うん、その裏のどうしてそうやって演奏されたのかを理解せずに表面上だけ真似する方とかっていらっしゃるんですか、ねうんうん、5秒もうすぐ分かる<笑>もう本当五5秒までいかないけど10秒もいかないんだけどもでも一番気持ちのいいのは弾いてる本人だからそこは僕たち追求するわけにいかないじゃないですか本人がナルシスティックにそういうことを弾いていればそれはいいんですよそれも一つの才能ですから、うんうん、あまあそうですね人真似も、まあ、人真似から覚えることもありますからね子供が先生の真似をするっていうのは僕は全然悪いと思わないんですよ、うんうんはいうん、大人になってきたらねそれはだけど僕やっぱり大学生教えてくる教えてると大学生の前ではあまり弾かないようなんですあのコピーそれうんそうものまねしちゃうじゃないですか、うんうん、僕のまねするでも先生のような男から学ぶことってあると思うんですけれども<笑>言葉ではなかなか本人の耳だからこういう音を出すというのも想像の世界で想像でもそれを想像して出すのも本人のそうですねもっと深い音で聞いたらどうでしょうかと言って理解して深い音を出すのは本人ですから僕の深い音は僕の深い音であってこういうように弾いたから深い音でしょっつってうんうんうんうんっていうとお互いにこうなんとなくこうハリポテの世界で生きていかなきゃいけないからそうすると僕の通り弾いてるからこの子はいい弟子だと。っていうことになっちゃうから、まあ、先生はそうですよね<笑>そうすると本人は嬉しいから<笑>この子はいい生徒よってことになるわけだけど本人が本当にどのくらい勉強して独り立ちした時にそうですね独り立ち、まあ、これから先どういうふうに生きてくるのかうそうするとまた違う先生を探すわけでしょうで違う先生を探してその人のようにまた弾いていくうそうすると自分の演奏っていうのは結局どこにあるんだってことになっちゃうじゃないですか結局あれですよね独り立ちはいつかしなければいけないんだと思うだから日本人は日本人でいいんです日本人のいいところあるわけだからそれでものすごく伝統をものすごくその尊重して楽譜を見て楽譜から何かを読み取ろうとするベートーベンにしても何にしてもそういうことに関してはそのまあ留学っていうのはそれもちろんとても必要なんですけれどもそれやはり自分で紹介して紹介ですそうですねそれで自分なりの音楽を作るそこに尽きると思いますだから日本との差ということ教育のだけの差ということに一言で片付,け、うん、片付けてしまうのはちょっと浅いかなと思う、うん、もっと深いところにあるんじゃないかなと,、うんで,ね、でもまだ考えでも考えることに何かその意味があるような気がします、うんうんうんうん、日本人ってやっぱり考えるの好きなんですよ<笑>私は日本人ですねもの,<笑>ものすごく考えるの好きだから<笑>だからそういう,こう考,え考えすぎてる時に自分があ
僕はやっぱり日本人だったんだなとこう思う<笑>私今それで先生日本人だったと思いました<笑>そう Please tell me the impression about this competition. I think the atmosphere of this competition is extremely warm. It shows great care for the competitors. The, there's a sense of really trying to encourage the competitors to communicate, to make music, to express themselves as artists. And the jury have been encouraged at all times, which I think is absolutely right, to be looking. For artistry to be looking for qualities, not to be, not to be trying to examine people and find、uh, problems, but to actually see the qualities of artistry and communication that actually make someone worthy of a career.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, what do you think the meaning of the competitions? I think the true meaning of competitions should be. To help people find ways of unlocking their real potential and talent, putting themselves under that degree of not so much pressure, but but a degree of demand. But, you know, getting ready a, a large amount of repertoire is a big job to do, and but is a necessary,、uh, realistic test of what it is to be suitable for a career. Uh, to have the opportunity to put this demand on yourself, then to have the performing opportunities, to have the opportunities to be heard by people who、uh, know what it is to have to prepare. You know, juries generally are not looking to find fault with competitors. They understand. They know what it is to be out on stage. They know the stresses. They know the difficulties. They know, they know the level of demand. But they also want to help people unlock. The most of themselves, because that's the most important thing. A competition is very valuable, but it takes place within a whole ecosystem of what makes a career.、Mm. And I'm very、uh, supportive of the idea that, that nobody wants competitions、mm. just for the sake of being competitive. That's, that's、mm-hmm. crazy. But equally, one has to realise that a lot of、um, the music professions, as with most professions, contains Competitive elements.、Mm-hmm. If you are auditioning for a conductor, or even if an agent is looking which artist to take on, and which, those inevitably there is a kind of sophisticated competition. The fact that people don't get first, second, and third prizes、mm-hmm. is, is, doesn't make it less、mm-hmm. competitive in the healthy sense. I think it's also, and I do think this is an important aspect. I say this often to my students that you have to treat going to competition. Mm-hmm. Among other things, as an opportunity to really meet the people who are going to be your colleagues、yeah. for the、mm-hmm. next fifty years,、mm-hmm. you know? mm-hmm. and even though the life of a pianist involves a lot of you, you know, you have to be happy with a degree of isolation and、mm-hmm. happy with a degree of working alone. But you don't make a career alone, and even for a solo、yeah. pianist, there、mm-hmm. is a lot of interchange、mm-hmm. with colleagues, and you have to, in a sense, learn how to do this. Um, so I think it's there is an almost an element of where it could be like in other professions. We have a conference where you meet the kind of people all around the world who are doing exactly the same thing you are at the same level and working, and that I think is enormously stimulating, enormously important. And I think it's very important to encourage people in order to be able to get the best out of competitions. That of course your everything is about your preparation and your playing, but that you are determined to really. Get a lot out of the whole experience to hear other people,、right? to, hear, to see, get your own opportunity to see what works on stage and what doesn't work on stage, and and to meet the jury, to get feedback, to meet other people who are around it, to really use the whole experience. These are very extraordinary gatherings at a competition, and you want to make sure that with all that work you've done and what, that you are getting the whole value of this. Uh, you know, today so many piano competitions everywhere, and、uh, you know, prize winners they got prizes, but it's very difficult to、uh, make career.、Mm-hmm. Do you have some advice, some、uh, you know, some tips? Well, I think that's it's very you know, competitions can be so helpful to give people this platform,、mm-hmm. opportunity, and but you also have to have an idea from the beginning of how you are going to use these platforms. Opportunity,、um, career will extend long beyond that.、Mm-hmm. Careers are. Careers are long affairs, not not short, and I think it's very important to realise that 
in order to have a career, you have to have a sense of what you really want to communicate, mm -hmm. and what you have to have a sense of what repertoire you really feel like you have something to say. Mm -hmm. and, and realistically, you have to realise that that can't simply involve the 30 most famous piano pieces that everyone else <laughs> plays as well. It may well, it may well have those some of those in it. There's nothing wrong with that, but mm -hmm. you have to be have some interest in. I don't think you can make a career these days if you are totally afraid of contemporary music or totally mm -hmm. ignorant of contemporary mm -hmm. music. You have to also be aware of how the music profession is changing. There is now a big, and I think very healthy emphasis, on rediscovering the work of a lot of female composers mm -hmm. whose work was kind of buried and, and is now coming to light. And this is often of great interest to orchestras and festivals and radio stations. Uh, this is important, you have to be creative, you have to be creative, mm -hmm. you have to be imaginative, you have to develop yourself. Mm -hmm. I remember Murray Pariah saying once at a Masterclass in Guildhall, when he was talking about this kind of general idea, he said, you know, it's not enough for playing to be impressive, it has to be interesting. And for playing to be interesting, for someone to, to have playing, whose playing is interesting, mm -hmm. they have to be interested. Mm -hmm. Interested in music, interested in other people, interested in the world, interested mm -hmm. in other art forms. So you have to feed this. Mm -hmm. you can't, it isn't simply a question of being good enough. It's a, <laughs> you know, there is, there is a certain, mm -hmm. there's a certain uh, level you have to get to where you, without that, you will not be credible in a professional sense. But you have to understand that that's the beginning, not the end. Mm -hmm. And that is, that means you are fit, if you like, to, to perform, but in terms of feeding what it is you're really going to have to, have to say, um, it, it's very, very important. And even, it's a smaller thing, but a very important thing, realising the importance of professionalism. That, and I, I don't just mean professionalism like not showing up late and not that, is not so important, but being able to work with people. Mm -hmm. you know, that profession is, even as a professional, a solo pianist, it is collaborative. Mm -hmm. You will have to be able to work mm -hmm. with conductors, festival directors, mm -hmm. managers, mm -hmm. uh, agents, and that means you have to have some understanding of the other person's mm -hmm. position in, in mm -hmm. these things. You should have your artistic vision and what you want to do, but in order to realise that mm -hmm. vision, and this is true of all the most successful people, mm -hmm. the great artists that we all mm -hmm. admire so much, they realise that you have to work with other people in order to have a situation that you can bring about your, mm -hmm. your, the personal vision that you, that you have. So all these things are very important, and you should regard it as a lifelong. In that sense, you should regard yourself as a lifelong student, mm -hmm. because it's always you are either getting better or you're getting worse. There isn't a third alternative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In any competition, we have a decision which is not done by one person. Mm -hmm. So that's why if you vote, you can get the results which are not properly yours. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it is difficult to make commentaries about that because they don't reflect what you think about the results. So this is one factor. Another factor is sometimes different priorities make you uh, not sure with your own decision. Mm -hmm. You simply don't know what to choose. For, for example, a very simple division, if somebody is more interesting as a person is a creative person but not prepared mm. or probably mm. failing or probably not playing up to expectations on the final so there are many factors here uh, and that's why sometimes I simply don't know how to explain this or that result mm. but here I find the results quite adequate mm -hmm. and uh, they reflect what I think generally speaking probably some fluctuations could be possible but I, I think that this was a fair a very fair and very good competition generally, and so I agree with the results we have. Also, unfortunately, we don't have the first prize, but <coughs> it's not a criticism, but uh, many, many uh, participants probably could have played better in some more, not better, better is another, more creative, I think, sometimes we had. Uh -huh. We had this situation when uh, I just hear something which I already expect and which doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. So for some of participants this was a... Um, I, I would prefer more creativity, mm -hmm. even more daring, even more courageous, mm -hmm. more bold decisions. To be remembered. <laughs> no, to remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we miss this entertaining or stage presence while yeah. playing too predictable. 
so I would advise all of them. They, they all have wonderful personalities and a wonderful professionality. Mm -hmm. We do, by the way, that's very important to say that none of the participants presented any lack of professional um, preparation. Everybody mm -hmm. really uh, did the, their best in professional terms, mm -hmm. with some very, very few, few exceptions. But generally, the level of uh, piano preparation mm -hmm. was quite good. But uh, it comes without saying mm -hmm. that uh, all that is necessary for any piano competition. Mm -hmm. So when it really becomes interesting, when people suddenly surprise me on stage, mm -hmm. which I really love. <laughs> I love Japan, and I love wor working in Japan. Mm -hmm. I've been there more than 100 times and last time I was here I was in uh, in Tokyo in several places other other places in this uh, this year this February mm -hmm. and uh, teaching in Japan makes me love the sense of being a pupil mm -hmm. a disciple in Japanese blood in the Japanese tradition there is a wonderful feeling of what to do and how to follow a, follow a teacher mm -hmm. and also big respect I like it very very much and also uh, what is slowly changing and I like it very much also uh, this uh, Japanese students feel more not just secure but m m more free inside oh. yeah which yeah. I which I find very necessary I feel it. For, for me this I have my own opinion position is uh, is a very good mm -hmm. one. You even if you like or dislike or if you have or don't have arguments, this is all to be liked. Mm -hmm. Art is uh, <laughs> there is a there is a shop effect. I like this. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You are buying buying what you what you want. Mm -hmm. That's why you you come to the art field in order to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So enjoy is a great, great word. So together with this discipline feeling mm -hmm. uh, comes uh, the idea of freedom. It's difficult in, in some, uh, in some person, personality mm -hmm. in Japan. It mm -hmm. is very difficult because, especially <coughs> in romantic music, because romantic music <coughs> is, needs a lot of me, yeah. myself. Mm -hmm. I feel so, mm -hmm. so much. From inside. Yeah, mm -hmm. from inside you, not a group, mm -hmm. not us, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. me. So, and the majority of music we play is just uh, romantic music. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes it is difficult, but I know so many, so many great performers in Japan who really can do. I'm very, very glad that this, uh, this, um, what's her name? Uh, what's the winner of Utrecht competition? Uh, Kuroki. Kuroki, Kuroki. Mm -hmm. I've been, I, I, I know her for many years mm -hmm. and she played for me and uh, in, as a part of uh, my master classes um, thanks to Eguchi Sensei. Mm -hmm. So I, I know this girl and she doesn't need any guidance here. Mm -hmm. She's very free mm -hmm. and she's very charming mm -hmm. but at the same time she knows what to project, mm -hmm. how to feel this, and she is able not to play only on the list, mm -hmm. but other other more. Mm, yeah, because she participates Dublin competition, and complete different program. Mm -hmm. uh, but Dublin competition has a free program, so she she could use just about everything. Yeah, there are no uh, rules except probably concertos and oh, one co one committee. But she played at least concert concerto uh, because it's uh, wonderful. At least competition was not concerto. It was wonderful fantasy. A wonderful fan fantasy, even better, even better. So she is more universal now. Mm -hmm. So she is a very good example. Mm -hmm. And she is. I remember that uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, it, it was several times enjoyed uh, making these master classes in show school. Not only there, in, uh, we we had this yearly event of Kawai Piano Russian mm -hmm. School oh, in mm -hmm. Omoto Sando. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, with all this. Um, recent events it, uh, it, it's, it had to stop because of COVID and so on but I hope it will it will be again mm -hmm. so I have really I listened to so many Japanese students and majority are excellent really mm -hmm. free flexible and wonderful combination mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very much
Thank you very much for your time. And then now the Prize Winners concert was finished. And then what is the impression of this competition? You know, today uh, probably I give you an interview as last one. And uh, it's uh, not uh, like, let's say, after they play final or after they play third round. But after the final, uh, after the Prize Winner concert. And uh, I'm really very happy today because uh, all of them today show that they have really very big potential. They are very different personalities, which is perfect. And uh, uh, during this long competition, you know, I remember all our participants, because there was not so many, unfortunately, because of the situation. There was only 15, but it was, I think, a great decision, because there were 15 uh, to give them chance to play second round uh, with, uh, without selection. Everybody played two rounds. And in general, I think it's not a bad idea for many competitions to hear more bigger program before we uh, decide who can go to the next round. So this competition, I remember Cleveland competition, it was the same. Uh, situation that everybody played two rounds and after we decide who are going, uh, who's going to semi final. Because then we have absolutely different picture. Mm -hmm. Not only President uh, Zukov, some edit and uh, some should be, but we have a big program and then it's much easier to understand who is who. This is about this competition particularly. Uh, we have wonderful finalists. And uh, really, I was very happy because everybody today, how to say, made me happy that myself I did the right decision and uh, mm -hmm. even which place to go. <laughs> to give. And uh, uh, of course, not only me, but it's uh, all the jury together this side. But uh, finally, it was the right decision, and uh, I think all of them have future. My, my opinion. Mm -hmm. Because they need to work, they need support, they need to, to grow up as personality, but I see that this is making very happy. And your question was about the atmosphere, you know, this kind of atmosphere, I think it's absolutely unique here mm -hmm. in this country. Because the, the love, the support, the friendship, like without border. So it's uh, never, I will never forget. Because in all our society, it's very rare that from the first, from the first moment, you feel like united, like people like you so much, like people want you have here as this. You know, they're absolutely amazing, absolutely, really. Uh, what I can say about the jury, it was great jury. Uh, in this what I mean with great jury, many different people from different countries, but uh, we have very quick agreement in, in uh, our competition, uh, and uh, it was quite uh, to say, usual and unusual to have it, uh, because we, we, we feel each other very good, and the atmosphere in the jury was also, maybe probably because of the place, you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it was wonderful, very friendly, without any politics, without any, uh, let's say, some moments which I don't like it. <laughs> when I'm in the jury, if you start some mm -hmm. uh, things coming around the music, but here was really very professional and very to the, the point. Friendly, professional, and good story. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I can say. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. まあ、あの、先生
かね、受けそうなんですよ。それをやっぱり、話すって非常に難しいことなんですけど、ね、まあ、なんとか、それの生きれたっていう意味では、<笑>一つ、あの、印象に残ることになったかなっていうふうに思いますけど、まあ、もう一度やっぱり自分の中では、やっぱり基礎をもう一回見直して、やっぱり、あの、基礎を見直すことって、やっぱりレパートリーをもっと増やすって。やっぱあとは室内学だったり、いろんなアンサンブルだったり、うまく視野を広げたいなと思います。うん、であとは、そうですね、来年は留学なんかも考えておいて、今までにない発想だったり、感覚だったり、そういうものも磨いていけたらいいんじゃないかなと思います。<音楽>